Thursday's footy news here on afl.com.au. Hello everyone, Matt Thompson with you, counting down to this weekend's finals and final preparations in Adelaide for the Crows clash with the Dockers. Let's start at the Crows because again, Kurt Tippett is the story there. For much of the season he's been a talking point and he is in the news again. More speculation about his future and speculation too that maybe he should be dropped from the Crows team to actually take on Fremantle. Not going to happen though, according to coach Brenton Sanderson. Match committee is fascinating, of course, because you put the magnets up and you, you, you look at different scenarios about, you know, like we mentioned before, who's in form, who's playing well, what if Fremantle do well, how can we combat that? Lots of different things get talked about, um, but leaving Tippett out wasn't one of those ones this week. Finding a replacement for rising star Daniel Talia, also part of Sanderson's problem. Um, we'll probably make uh, two or three changes this week, yeah. And then it's contending with everything the informed dockers throw at them. Um, the important things for us is um, is we have to do the basics really well uh, and also to not get spooked by their great defensive uh, system that they set up. This time around, the Crows will face a much stronger Fremantle lineup. Nat Fife and Aaron Sanderlands weren't there when the Dockers lost in round 20. And Nathan Fife's just a great ball winner and it just adds to our midfield and gives us another player in there that we know can win the ball, both in the, in the contested and uncontested area. So <clears throat> he does add strength to our midfield and Aaron, you know, he's not just a, a big, big ruckman that gets his hand on the ball. He's a, he's a leader of our club and, you know, he's there directing and standing up when we need him. The Dockers are already in the city of Churches, travelling early, which worked so well against the Cats last week. Everything right now seems to be going Frio's way. Oh, the momentum's good because it gives you a little bit of confidence, but we know that that doesn't really count for anything when the ball's bounced, you know, on Friday night. It's nil all and it's a new game and it starts again and we've got to bring all the things to life that we know help us win games, which is our effort and execution of our role. While the Swans aren't playing this week, it hasn't actually been a week off with the players turning up to the club each day. They've already started to zero in on both the Crows and the Dockers. We, we, we do have an opportunity to uh, utilise this uh, extra seven days as opposed to just starting afresh on Monday next week. They might be out of the spotlight in the Harbour City, but it doesn't mean it's easy. I wouldn't say less pressure, but there definitely is less attention on it. And um, uh, but you know, look, you know, we've got no game here this weekend, and we've got massive media contingent. So it's not like uh, Sydney, Sydney aren't aware that we, you know, of what's going on. So great is the focus. Richards and his three teammates up for nomination won't be making the trip to Melbourne for next week's All Australian Awards. It came as a massive surprise uh, when I got picked in the squad. Um, my mum actually told me so. Uh, she rang me up and I thought she was joking. I had a bit of a go at her and said, Mum, you can't play, you know. Yeah, have you actually got your information correct? Because uh, <laughs> good old Mum's been incorrect about a few things before. Away from the finals, Matthew Scarlett has finally made his retirement official at the Cattery, the Triple Premiership defender finishing on 284 matches. And while one champion bows out, another continues on. Simon Black to play on for a 16th season at the Brisbane Lions. It's um, fantastic to extend... Uh, my career another year at the club and I'm uh, really excited and thrilled to be a part of the, uh, you know, the playing group going forward. And so the story now is the team news ahead of the two semi-finals. The full team's first right here online at afl.com.au. We'll catch you soon.